Oh, have you heard about that app? <laughs> Wordswag is a tremendous app for the iPhone or the iPad and it allows you to add beautiful text and typography to your photos, to create images, to share on sites like Facebook, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, and, and lots more. In fact, I use this app for my thumbnails here on YouTube. I'm gonna share how you can use this app, how you can craft beautiful images to share across social media, and we're getting started in seconds. Stick around. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson helping you to stake your claim and amplify your message. A big part of that is creating content that stops people. And that's tricky, that's hard to do when we live in a, in a world that is, is so busy, so loud, so many people uh, striving to grab attention, creating beautiful images, graphics, uh, social quotes and more can help you do that. And in this playlist and video, I'm gonna share how you can do just that. Now, by the way, this actually is a brand new playlist here on YouTube. It's called, Oh, have you heard about that app? <laughs> Roll that intro. Step numero one, install the app. Step numero two, Put on protective eyewear. Step number three, take over the world. <laughs> All right, let's jump on the computer. I wanna show you how easy it is to create awesome images with word swag. Let's go. All right, so I've got my iPad open. Let's jump in and check out what WordSwag is capable of. This is a tremendous app if really you wanna gain uh, attention, if you wanna build a tribe, if you want to create a, uh, an image for a blog post or Facebook, maybe you wanna create a thumbnail for a YouTube video. WordSwag can help you do it quickly and easily. I wanna share that with you right now. Now I'm using iPad and I recommend you do the same because it allows you to have more flexibility, really more space in controlling the app and really seeing what you're creating. However, uh, this app is configured for both the iPhone and the iPad, so you're set in that regard. I'm gonna access uh, my meme studio. You'll notice I have a fair amount of apps open like, uh, or in this folder, etching, Word Dream is tremendous. Um, what's another one I have here? Typorama, Retype, Pixel Matter, and more. And I'm gonna be creating tutorial videos for a lot of these apps. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that now and you won't miss any of these app tutorials that will help you extend your social media marketing. Uh, so subscribe now. Let's jump in. You just simply tap the icon, it opens up. So it does that now. And the first thing that happens is two icons appear at the bottom. They are the round icons at the bottom. One is a camera, the other is the camera roll. I really suggest that you A, take a picture or find an image that you wanna create first, save it to your iPad or your iPhone, and then open up this app and you'll select the uh, camera roll option, which is on the right. I'll tap that now and then you'll see uh, one of the things I can do is I can actual, actually search Pixel Bay and let's search for a cool uh, sunset. And I'll search for sunset and you'll see I, I do actually have a fair amount of sunset images that come up and I can use these. Now you'll notice right now in the right hand corner it says don't crop. And you can either uh, select square crop which is the, the button at the bottom I'll do that now. And in doing that, you will basically configure the image uh, for Instagram, the default setting, which is uh, vertical. Now, I'll go ahead and double tap the text, just like it says, it says double tap me to change the text. I'll do that and I'll put in uh, a rise and shine, explanation point, 
and you'll see at this point what I have is a number of different styles that I can use. So right now I have September issue selected. These styles are at the bottom of the app and they're kind of grayed out. Right now I just press trend. I'm going to press right now the curtain and you can see in doing that I have different styles that I can uh, uh, use. So this is actually pretty good right here and maybe what I want to do is is use shout out. Now notice below the style that I have selected, I have a number of options and I can hit uh, number two or number three or number five or number four and get different layouts. And I'm just gonna hit the dice to come up with a few different ones. What I'm gonna do is kind of position this in the right hand corner, kind of like so. And I'm gonna select done in the upper right hand corner and that's it. It's really this easy to create great images and I use this all the time. Now when you're done, you'll notice you have a few options. You can share, which is great, but what I do is I simply save the photo to my photo album. I then log into the Apple or the rather the Facebook app or the Instagram app. I then select the photo from my camera roll and I'm good to go. However, we do have some more options we can uh, do. So you'll notice under more, we can add a logo or we can re-swag. If I select re-swag, what I get is it pops up again and maybe what I wanna uh, put is uh, another great day, explanation point. And I will position this like so. And that's really pretty good, maybe a little bit bigger, and I'm gonna change the styles till I get what I want. I wanna let you know there still is a lot more we can do to customize the layout. If I double tap again, notice the black bar that runs through the middle. In the middle of that, it says save and close. On the far left, you'll notice it says auto line breaks, and I have it set to on. I'm gonna select off, and now I control where the text and the line breaks happen. So I'm gonna select save and close. And now you'll see that because I have positioned the text one word on each line, that is represented in the actual typography because that's what I have selected. I like to do that because it gives me more control as mentioned. So I'm just gonna scroll through here and kind of get something that mimics what I have. So notice those dotted lines, I don't want those. And that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna select done again. Now this time I'm gonna select add watermark. Now what you can do is you can type in your name. That's awesome. You can type in your website. That's awesome too. Or if you're like me and you've got an image logo, you can select image and you'll notice it says use a transparent background. It's gonna give you the best result. I'll, result, I'll uh, say okay and then I'll go to my camera roll and I'm going to scroll here for a fair amount. I've got this kind of buried. I need to actually let's go straight to uh, brand assets. That'll be much easier. And what I want is a white logo which is right here. You can't really see it but I'm just going to kind of put that right about here. Brian G. Johnson and now you'll notice I have a transparent slider at the bottom. That's the little circle that's popping around and I think what I'll do is I'll kind of like uh, pull the transparency down to about 60 percent so that's pretty good and that looks awesome so I'll click done and now that image is saved to my camera roll it's ready for me to upload I'll click close and I am good to go that's it word swag is awesome it's very powerful and what I would suggest is get the app and a few tips uh, to leave you with. Number one, you can unlock additional styles for another dollar or so. So I'd say upgrade, unlock them all, spend a whole $4.97 or something, and you'll have a very powerful app. Another thing you might want to do is think about the uh, social sharing sites you're going to be creating and, uh, images for and posting to and uh, crop your images a certain size to reflect that. So Facebook is better with images that are closer to 16 by nine. Instagram is better 
uh, three by four, where it's more of like a square or a rectangle. And there is a lot you can do with this. Why not create a really cool graphic that uh, you use as a featured image on a blog post? Or why not create a really cool graphic to promote a live streaming event, whether it's on Blab or Facebook Live or a webinar that you're holding? Really, the, the possibilities are endless, and I use this all the time in conjunction with other apps. In fact, in the next app, I'm going to share with you a similar app uh, to WordSwag. The only difference is that it allows us to crop perfectly for Facebook, for a Facebook cover photo, which is awesome. If you want to create a cool Facebook cover photo, well, this app will allow you to tap a button, crop perfectly for Facebook, and create that cover uh, shot. Or you can do the same thing for Twitter, Instagram, etc. So stick around for that tutorial. Hey, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to Brian G. Johnson TV, go ahead and do that now. I create tutorials motivational videos. I share what I know about social media marketing, about driving traffic, building websites, really about marketing online. It's what I've done since 2003. And I release videos on Wednesdays and Thursdays, sometimes on, on Fridays. So hey, if what are your thoughts on WordSwag? Is this an app you've used? Have you thought about using WordSwag for maybe YouTube thumbnails? I've done that a lot and it's been fantastic. Let me know how you're using WordSwag now or how you plan on using WordSwag in the future. Would love to get your feedback and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson and poof, pixie dust. Peace.